So the Half-Life 3 trademark has vanished? Is Valve making Half-Life 3 or what? You know what? I don't even think I care anymore. But before we get to this video, here's the question of the day. Okay, so basically, originally, there's a story that a uh, trademark has been filed for Half-Life 3, which is supposed to be the third installment in the Half-Life series, of course. And the reality is that we don't even know what Valve is thinking, because uh, apparently now it's been replaced by Portal 3 instead. That's right. Portal 3. Portal 3 has uh, replaced the uh, Half-Life 3 trademark. Um, basically, it's been removed from the Euro European Union's Office of Harmonization for the Internal Market Database. And what does this mean? Does this mean that they're not going to make this game? Should we even care anymore about Half-Life 3? Does it even matter? I think, honestly, it doesn't matter. You know, I, I could care less about Half-Life 3 at this point. Half-Life 2 ended the way it did, and it was basically a pseudo-cliffhanger, but you know what, I enjoyed it for what it was. I, I don't even care anymore about Half-Life 3. Because the second game, it was good, it was great for its time, the graphics were great, so the gameplay was pretty good, and the campaign was fun, but... Man, it's been many years, uh, that was a long time ago, and first-person shooters have moved on you know i think that this genre needs something fresh and different instead of just half-life all over again i can understand why people want to anticipate this but honestly i just i don't care anymore about half-life you know it's done it's finished like in my opinion if half-life 3 does come out and it does it's it is in development it's gonna take many years for it to come out and you know it's gonna be some sort of you know, pretentious release where everybody thinks it's going to be the greatest game ever made. Probably even worse than Grand Theft Auto V. At least with GTA, we know what to expect, but with Half-Life and Valve and all this shit, it's just going to be like... Uh, so much building up this game into something that is a killer app or just an amazing must-have title, and... The storyline, I've never even cared about the Half-Life story that much, you know? This whole alien thing and robots and the, the, the zombie creatures, it just, it's all over the, the map, this, this game and, and the characters. I just like the, the gameplay, you know what I mean? I just like the little puzzles and just traversing through the stages. It felt like a movie, it felt like a nice little thriller shooter you know experience it was almost like a like a theme park i don't know um let's see what else they have to say the most recent half-life uh, game was 2007's episode 2 of half-life 2. Uh, the game advances the story of the previous entries in half-life 2. Yeah, but a listing for Half-Life 3 was recently spotted in a Valve project tracker, which again could be a potential indication that this game is going to come out and it is being made. I think, you know what, Portal, the idea of Portal 3 is more exciting than Half-Life 3, you know? It, Portal is a franchise, it's a series that they could keep uh, making, you know, keep going, you know, that's sort of like the next step, I think. Yeah, Half-Life, it was great, man. The first one was a classic 90s shooter, late 90s PC shooter, and then the Half-Life 2 was a good little uh, second installment, but... I don't know. Last week, Valve announced Steam OS, Steam OS, uh, the Steam Machine, and a Steam Controller. The announcements did not win everybody over, as Gearbox CEO uh, Randy Pitchford said that Valve needs to introduce a killer app to display why the new initiatives are compelling. Hey, this could be it. Yeah, Half-Life 3 could be that game. It really wouldn't surprise me. Ah, this whole Steam thing, man. I think people are just... The PC guys are really making this a big deal, you know? I can understand the PC fanatics and stuff, but... I don't think this is gonna win any console gamers for the most part. I think that... 
Steam is uh, it's the PC crowd, it's the PC fan base, and uh, you're not gonna replace the, the the PS4 and the Xbox One and even Nintendo for that matter with this uh you know Valve uh, Steam O's or whatever. And here's the answer to the question of the day.